Hello everybody, Bets Golden here. I have for you today a little way to make cute little flowers, or in my case, a little succulent. You can drop a little tea light in there, put it on a plate, and you have a beautiful little um, place setting for your guest. I am going to be using some Renea foil paper, as well as this Fiskar Punch, and then um, Multigrav 360 Group glue by super tight to make this and this will work with pretty much any kind of punch that you have if it's a flower punch you're going to want to make approximately five punches and the beauty of using Renia foil paper is I can flip it over or fold it over and get two in one I always take the back off of this and I punch upside down so that I can see. And then I'm gonna dump it because I don't wanna waste much of it. So right here is two punches. I just dump it out. And then we have three punches. And then I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to go ahead and do my fifth punch. Okay, so I can set the rest of my paper aside, my Renea foil paper. This was a 12 by 12 sheet that I used. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort these out. Get them off into the right sizes. I'm going to have them flipped over on the gold side because that's the side that I'm going to be using my super tight on or my liquid, liquid adhesive. So I'm just flipping them all over, getting them all sorted. I prefer to use liquid adhesive versus like, versus like a glue dot simply because liquid adhesive allows me to move it around a little bit before it firmly sets up and I do I you know when I'm doing this I do have to move it around from time to time to get it lined up so that's why I prefer liquid adhesive for making these all right so I'm going to show you how to put this together the trick is, is you're going to want to use these centerpieces. You're going to want to use a centerpiece each time you layer a new size on, a new petal on. So, and these actually can be flipped over. So every time I start a new layer I put on a different one of these little petals so to start it I'm just gonna pop this in the middle a little bit of adhesive in the middle and then on the base of each petal I'm popping just a little bit more adhesive now it's important that you lay out that adhesive like I did because it'll help kind of set it up. I'm working on a non-stick mat which totally helps and I'm just going to start to layer this around like so overlapping as I go. Got a little bit on my fingers. And then I can like kind of pull those out a little bit to my liking. The beauty about this is since it is after something that is in nature, it does not have to be perfect because nothing in nature is perfectly symmetrical or perfectly lined up. So you don't want all your succulents to look exactly the same so it's totally okay 
they're different. And as you can see, I layered another center piece there. That just helps give it some stability in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and just work on these. And I'm working on the next smaller size, making sure that I get in those the center of the V from the last. And you could use different petals. If you don't want to do five, you could punch out six or seven of each. That's fine. Five to me just is my magic happy number. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to move on to the next size. Top it off with the centerpiece. Actually got too much glue there, so I'm going to just go ahead and take a little bit of that off. Now, this is the one important part, is you want to shape it and make sure you get it in the right, basically in the right spots that you want it. The beauty of working with a liquid adhesive is that you can maneuver it a little bit before it sets up entirely. So get it all set up and then you have to set it aside to let it really get nice and solid and firm. So that usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so I have another one that I put together and I allowed it to dry and set up. And what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna shape your leaves. Now for a succulent, I originally was going around it with a pencil and really turn, flipping them up and it just didn't look right. And that's because succulents don't curl up. So for this particular little succulent flower, I'm just popping the edges of this up to give it some texture and some dimension and some personality. And that's all I'm doing. It's so easy. And if I don't like, if I, if I like, whoop, flip it too much, I just simply take it back. This is very forgiving paper. You can't even see the crease. I did that and I'm like, oh, I don't like that. So I just flip it up, flip it up like so. And this is going to hold its shape. I can pop a little tea light in there and use it as a centerpiece or whatever. These would even be beautiful in the pool as floating little um, candles. So this is how you can use your Rhenea foil paper with your flower punches and how to put them together. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Also check out my blog. I do post over there occasionally. It's www.scrappycafe.blogspot.com. In the description, I will have a link on how you can get your hands on some of this fabulous foil paper, as well as the Fiskar stamp, um, punch I used and the super tight glue. Until next time, happy crafting.